Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and in this video here I'm going to play with the um, Millennium Chess exclusive with the Chess Dojo app. The last time I played uh, this app I played it with the Millennium E1 and I played Nemzovich and he was a 1000 rating. So in this game uh, Nemzovich has went and got some lessons so Nemzovich is a 1300 player. Now he's taking some lessons. We're going to see how this goes. Play four plus seven, and now we're going to hit OK. And I'm going to move. See how it go. All right, there we go. Nemzovich should be. Yeah, he's 1300 here. OK, Nemzovich. Well, let me find out. Nemzovich took some lessons on him. OK, that's, that's interesting. In castles. Okay, he already got a book. Man. Okay, let me go ahead and stop that. He's doing a little, I forget, I think it's like the Williams attack or something like that. I think one from the white side would be the Williams attack when you got sort of this similar position. It's something like that. All right, so let's go C4. No idea here. We always want to try to get this diagonal open. Pretty simple but effective um, strategy. I mean, you have to kind of do something about it. Okay, we're just going to develop our knight. So he takes here. We're going to take here. takes here and uh, we are going to hmm, what should I do here I could just take his knight trade the bishop and then go up there but I think he'll be hmm yeah let's go ahead and do it this way Yeah, let's do it this way here. This is another way you can do it here. Then I'm going to go uh, queen a4. Put pressure on both of those pawns there. Okay, so he did uh, take. Then we'll go here. Okay, so he goes there. I'm going to... Take that. Okay, now that's something. Let's see, what can we do here? I don't like that knight on the side of the board, so we need to go ahead and get rid of that. Make something happen here. Because again, sometimes them knights like that can cause some trouble. Especially since I don't have my white bishop anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of nip that in the bud. So far, numbers of bitch, 13 or nothing. I feel like, I feel like I'm doing okay here. Uh, but again... All right, so I'm gonna go here. I kind of thought he might do that, so that way I'm just gonna go here. Okay, castle. Now, what shall I do? That's the question here. I guess we can go ahead and no, do we want to develop this? Let's see. Yeah, let's do develop this here this way. So that way um, we're going to try to push his bishop off that diagonal. We're going to try to get some kind of play here in a second. 
Okay, he goes there. All right. First of all, let me do this. Let me threaten this pawn here and see what he does. Because I want to kind of maneuver my bishop, go bishop to uh, e7 to, to something like a... Uh... Okay, so he did not. Now that's something. That's pretty good, actually, I got to say. Okay. Let's do this there. My bishop and my queen side is a little bit loose here. And I, uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just step up here because now he's actually threatening something for real. Man, these little 1300 lessons is paying off. He did, he done pretty good. Okay. I mean, I, I mean, to be 1300, I mean, that's just amazing. I mean, I played a lot of chess in my days. I ain't seen 1300 to play uh, chess like this because, I mean, he had, why well, he didn't take this? Well, I guess that's a 1300 mistake then, I guess. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and get rid of this here. Okay, so he goes here. Okay. That's something. So I'm going to go maybe to here. Because now I'm threatening to win a pawn. Okay, so. Okay, so. I got to talk. Go. Let's see what would be the most reasonable move here. I guess the most reasonable, let's do this right here. Let's block like this. So that way that kind of put something, that kind of put something here in jeopardy here. Let's put something's in jeopardy here. Because he got two pieces hanging right now. Okay, so he goes here. Okay, now that's something. Hmm. Go here. Well, actually, he only had one piece in jeopardy. I missed. I keep. I forgot about his queen being on that last row like that. All right. So let's go to. Which is being one tough cookie here. I gotta hurry up and do something here. See what time I got here. Alright, let me do something here. Alright, let me back this bishop up here. I think I got a threat here, I think. I didn't miss anything. Okay, so if I take and go up here, I think I'm threatening his rook, right? Yeah, let me take that. I think his rook, he has, he has a go down the exchange here for the rook, right? Yeah. Do 
So he pushes. Well, that's just I'm just gonna maneuver. I'm just gonna move my king for right now because he can't do anything to to stop me from doing this here. So I'm gonna just maneuver my king a little bit. Get my king a little closer to the action before I do anything else here. Okay, so I think I can do this, right? Oh, just, just give me this. Let me take that first. Just give me that. First of all, I got to make some moves here. Okay, that's good. So now, let's push that up. I should have, I should have went check first. I just messed that up. Well, not really messed it up, but I mean, I could have probably played that a bit better. Well, I can't go ahead and do this. Yeah, let me do that. So I can undermine his uh, rook. I mean, his bishop. Yeah, let me do that. Okay, so now he wants to kind of come here, but that's okay. We'll, we'll. to do something here. Give me a second here. Let me think about this. Okay, let me just go here for a second. Get him to push his pawn up. Yeah, he push, push, go here. So that way now I can move my king up so I can stop him from um, coming, bringing his bishop to um, E, I mean to uh, F2, getting some counterplay here. So now if he comes down to F2, I mean, he can. I'm going to just bring my king up. Okay. King up. Yeah, I'm going to just take the pawn now. Okay, this is a winning end game for me. I'm just taking the pawn here. Give me that. Wow, Nilsovich took some good lessons here. He had me earlier, but he missed his one good opportunity to... Uh, Put the hurt on me. Okay, so he takes. Take, go. I got, oh man, I hope my battery don't die for I end this game. If he offer resignation, I'm going to take it. And, uh, because my battery, I, I should have switched batteries before I start this recording. I'm on one sale left. I may have enough to finish it, though. We'll see. We'll see. Because I'm going to just go ahead and gobble up all these pawns. Okay, yeah, I'm going to just do this here. One thing I will say, Millennium has some really good piece of recognition. Like it's fast. Uh, I'll say continue playing. He push. And I'm just going to take. If, it, if, if the battery dies from the camera, I'm going to still have the game recorded on my um, tablet and you'll be able to see the end of it. If he all, if once I take these pawns, uh, if he offer a draw, I may, I may take it. I'm not sure yet. I, who everybody loves a check made a computer. Let's see here.
I'm just pushing. Because all I need is a queen. I ain't too worried about nothing else. So as fast as I'm pushing that the pieces it's recognizing on the board, so you're not really having any issue with uh, any of the uh, any of the uh, piece recognition or any sort of errors here. So this is what I like about Millennium. They seem to be most of the boards seem to be pretty fair. Um, I, again, like I said, Square Off had seems to have the, the when I say worse, I don't mean it's bad, but they seem to you know have issues from time to time in the Pegasus as well. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute, where'd he go? He went here. Let me get a queen. There we go. He goes here. And I'm gonna go here. No, I didn't go there. Wait a minute. Oh, man, it took. Well, I'm going to just let him take it then. Dang it. I didn't really go there. <laughs> that's okay. I'm still going to win the game. It's just annoying now that I have to go get another queen now because of the piece. Uh, uh, and that was my fault. I actually did touch that square, to be honest with you. But I'm just trying to hurry up for my camera die. And that's what's causing me um, problems here. So I'm going to just step up like this. But surely he can have that pawn there. This time let me get my queen here ready. Let's see where he goes. That was funny. I'm, I'm sitting here. I should have accepted the drama. Almost, uh, almost in a certain sense, could have lost if I didn't have any pawns left. That would have been a bad case of, um, of a, of a quote unquote mouse slip. <laughs> okay. This time we won't make a mistake. Okay. Let's go here. I got enough time to think. It's not necessarily that it's not on the clock. It's just trying to beat this batter here, but that's okay. But anyway, the game, um, again, uh, the biggest thing that I'm trying to illustrate here now that I'm seeing is um, the piece recognition is really good. And again, like I said, I actually did touch that square a while ago that I uh, went to, uh, uh, you know, that set, set the queen down so he could, was able to take it, but that's okay. Okay, so now... Let's go here. Just bring our king in. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna force him to make fast moves. I'm gonna just come down one square. Once he moves, he might go that way. All right, there we go. Let's see. Okay, that that should that right there should force him to make fast moves. Oh, or maybe not. Let's see. I thought it would. Apparently, it seems like it doesn't. A lot of times, you get a computer in a situation like this, they just instantly move because it's only because I mean that depth uh, search. I mean, they, they they don't have any depth. It's just one move. Okay. All right, boom. That's mate. All right. Well, there you go. That is the Millennium exclusive with the Chess Dojo app. Great combination. Board piece recognition is great. The app works with it. No problem. Um, we've done it with both Millennium boards. Had no issue whatsoever. And um, so if you're into either one of these Millennium boards and want a third party app to where you can tune it or play different personalities or play a different opening 
uh, I mean, on different levels so you can have a good chess partner so you can play strong games or play games that's very easy so you can win, have fun, or let your child or somebody like that play. You can do that with the Chess Dojo app and I highly recommend uh, getting this app and also getting the, um, the uh, 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 Lucas Chess app and pairing it with uh, either one of these boys. That said, you guys take care and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.